I do. That bitterly cold first day of the Raimondo administration seems like a very long time ago. Today's a special day also for me. Today is my 100th day in office. In her first three months, Governor Gina Raimondo has crisscrossed the state with a focused message that we heard repeatedly during the campaign, bringing jobs back to Rhode Island and making the state business friendly. What has been your biggest challenge in the first 100 days? <laughs> Only one? I just get one? Just one. <laughs> you know, I need to keep people positive. People are down in Rhode Island right now, and I don't blame them. You know, a lot of people are down, a lot of people are out of work, a lot of people are cynical. Can, you know, with Rhode Island, can we do this? And what I need to get people to be confident and optimistic and positive and open to change, because the first step to all of this is having an attitude um, and a belief that, yeah, we can do it. In a wide-ranging interview last week with the Hummel Report, the governor talked about job development as being both a marathon and a sprint. What's been your biggest frustration in the first 100 days? Biggest frustration? You know, the pace. I always want everything to move faster. Isn't that the private sector? Yeah, you know, yes, definitely. It's harder to get things done, slower in, the, in government. But it's hard for me. It's hard for me. Every day I'm out and about. Every, I go grocery shopping on Sundays, and I meet people in the grocery store. And, you know, people are struggling. They believe. They want to see the cranes in the sky, they don't they? They want a job. Yesterday? Yeah, they want a job. While the governor has made dozens of public appearances since taking office, many times with her new Commerce Secretary, Stephen Pryor, it's what's happening out of the public's view that might be more important. Before I came in here for this interview, I spent the morning on the phone with businesses. Every single week, I and Stefan make time to pick up the phone and call businesses, from the very biggest to the smallest. How are you doing? What can we do to get you to add jobs in Rhode Island? Are you finding the skilled workers you need? If not, what can we do you know, to get you the skilled workers you need? Uh, any regulations standing in your way? Are you having trouble with your permitting? You know, one real focus that I have and Stefan has is just changing this perception that Rhode Island is a bad place to do business. So I want to be very proactive. I pick up the phone all the time and call businesses, and so does Stefan. They take your call, right? Everyone. Everyone <laughs> takes my call. And most people say, you know, you're the first governor to call. Thank you for reaching out. Uh, a lot of people say to me, I'm glad you called. We're just planning a new big initiative. I don't know if we're going to keep it in Rhode Island. We might go someplace else to which I say, give me a chance to compete. I want every single job in Rhode Island. What do we have to do to get those jobs in Rhode so Island? So shore up the base. Absolutely. As you do in politics. Absolutely. Raimondo signed an executive order on the same day she visited a manufacturing plant in Richmond. Vibeco is owned by Carl Waddenston, who has preached for nearly a decade about the benefits of the lean program. Designed to eliminate waste, get rid of unnecessary steps, reduce weight and processing times, and realize greater efficiency and cost reduction. The governor brought along her entire cabinet to get a first-hand look that day, with the goal of using lean throughout state government. It's a private sector initiative used mostly in manufacturing, and it's all about um, making your operation more efficient, more effective, and also empowering workers. You know, the whole philosophy behind Lean is if you want to make a process better, ask the person who's doing it. The guy or woman who does that job all day long, they're going to tell you how to do it better. So, has that not been done in state government? In no, your mind? it hasn't. I did it as treasurer uh, a little bit. I did it as treasurer. And now as governor, I want to bring it throughout state government. As the governor, it drives me crazy when I hear that um, people wait on the phone for half an hour, you know, before they can be heard, or that there's a a backlog or that it takes two hours to get your license at the DMV. People deserve better. We can do better. We have a $200 million deficit. I can't just throw money at problems. I can't. We don't have the money. The taxpayers don't have the money, so I have to do more with less, and that's what Lean's about. So tell me, why Rhode Island? The main reason why Rhode Island is the opportunity to work for Governor Raimondo. We also sat down with the governor's chief of staff, Stephen Newman, who has worked for governors in Maryland and North Carolina. I'm somebody who loves results and loves getting things done and believes that government can uh, do important things to help people. Raimondo told us during the transition that her pitch to potential cabinet members was to be part of a team that finally turns Rhode Island around. 
and that was a draw for Newman, who was introduced to Raimondo through a mutual contact. Two things existing together, the significant challenges that the, face, that the state faced, plus this tremendous new governor with all of her background and experience and wherewithal. And so I thought those two things together presented really significant opportunities to get results. Every state has its own little nuance about how it works. What has been challenging in Rhode Island? When you got here, what was the one thing that you said, I can't believe they do it this way? The state has certainly been hit harder by the recession than lots of places, and we've been slower to come out. And I think um, part of that has to do with not having significant economic development tools in the toolkit. Um, and if you compare um, some of the, the economic development tools that exist in other New England states, um, other states uh, around the country, Rhode Island is, is behind. What is it that businesses are leery about when they come to Rhode Island? What is scaring businesses away right now? Well, I think there's no question that, that um, businesses uh, have, uh, there are some businesses around the country that, that, that um, have, have had a, a less than favorable view of doing business in Rhode Island. But I think that's why the initiatives that the governor and the leadership in the General Assembly are working on are so important. Because what we want to do is eliminate that red tape. We want to make it easier for companies to invest here. We want to make it less expensive so that, that um, the economics work for a company to invest and put people to work in Rhode Island. Last month, Raimondo appeared before the House Finance Committee to make a personal pitch for the initiatives in her budget that she says will pave the way for the job creation and economic development she hammered away at during the campaign and now as governor. I need some money appropriated for investments. You know, for example, I want to start a school building authority. Our schools are falling apart. As the executive, I'll administer that program, but I need the legislature to work with me to appropriate the money. Jobs just aren't going to fall out of the sky. We need to do something to make it happen. Right? We need to make it cheaper and easier to do business in Rhode Island. We need to invest in our infrastructure, rebuild our roads, schools, and bridges. That takes money. Uh, we need to provide tax incentives to incentivize commercial real estate development and job creation. And we need to train people. Right now, right now in Rhode Island, there are more than 10,000 job openings, jobs that are posted right now. And when I talk to employers, they tell me they're frustrated they can't find the skilled workers that they need. At the same time, there's 30,000 people out of work. So we need to take action to take these 30,000 folks, get them trained, and get them matched up. Raimondo says she knows some of her proposals won't make it through the legislative session. No governor's budget, Republican or Democrat, survives intact. But the message to lawmakers about mission remains the same. More than ever, the people of Rhode Island are counting on their government leaders in the House, in the Senate, the governor, to get together, to work together to get something done. At the State House, Jim Hummel for the Hummel Report. You know, many states have state level taxing. Do you have a question about that?